Hey guys, welcome back to We Watched a Movie. It's Dead Man Down, and that's right, Dead Man Down. I mean, where else would they be? They'd be down. <laughs> the title's stupid. We watched a movie. Yeah. We watched a movie. We watched it. We watched a movie. Yeah. Oh yeah, we gotta trim some of the fat around here. Trim the, what do you mean by trim the fat? I want you to fire the fat people. But we all know that the greatest comic girl role of all time was Bullseye from Daredevil. We know that. <laughs> but he does okay in this movie. Ha! Ah, I never miss. Because I missed. I never miss. The devil is mine. <laughs> I need a bloody costume. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Dead Man Down is a it's a revenge crime thriller, and I this is the hardest plot ever to yeah, give really is. because. They don't explain shit until midway through the movie, so I, I can't give anything away. I'll just say it's a revenge story that involves a crime syndicate and a romance between him and this girl who's all screwed up. And nothing's as it seems. Revenge. I've never thought about it before. But when I saw you, I knew I had my answer. Uh, this the editing in this fucking horrible. <laughs> it was awful. There was a that, like he'd be walking on the street and then all of a sudden he'd be in a park. Like the, the camera would cut and he's then he was eating a burger and then he was eating a burger and talking to a guy that you didn't even know who that was. <laughs> it, was, like, was it was like a children's book. It was like watch Colin do this. Yeah, watch Colin go to the movies. Then he watch was Colin. in a freaking building like in a grill and he was like popping the grill out and he's like I was like what, what is going on? I was like it makes no sense. <laughs> yeah, I mean the movie just picks up like it just starts and like I guess like you're supposed to just know what's going on and 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 uh, there's just all this stuff happening and you're like why I don't. I don't know what's happening. You know what? I, you know, I, I know what they were trying to do. Because at the beginning of the movie, they kind of like let you fall in the middle of all, uh, all this stuff going on. And yeah. you're, they're like, what we're going to do is we're going to start in the middle. And then we're going to work it back. And everybody's going to figure it out. But they yeah. do such a horrible job of telling that. It, it takes your time. Because Mike and I were like, is this fucking Inception? What's real? <laughs> I want to take the little knob and like, so like about the, whatever, you know, and spin it. <laughs> I said knob. Like, I understand what they're trying to do. But the movie sucked through the first half because oh, yeah. it was like this 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 plot is dumb, it makes no sense, there's just random stuff happening. Once you find out about midway the whole story and what's going on, you're like, oh, this that's pretty cool. It gets better. I like it. Like I said, Numi Rapace, Numi I think that's how you uh, say Yeah, it. I really she was great. She was awesome. Like I didn't like her that much in Prometheus, she didn't bother me, but she was nothing great. And but in this movie, she was really good. She was the emotional anchor for this movie, and I think I, I really got attached to her. I, I did. I was like, well, I'm gonna take care of you. Yeah, <laughs> so, yeah. She has this scar on her face, and she's shy, and, and, they, and you know these fucking kids like throw a rock at her. Oh no! Because they call her a monster. I'm like, you motherfucker. Yeah, cares? they wrote monster on her door and like throw rocks at her. And I mean, I, I, I swear I, to God, I wanted to get a whipple bat and just start beating the shit out of little kids. Like, don't you ever! <laughs> but they made such a big deal out of it. I know yeah. it's a big deal. I mean, if it happened to me, it would suck. But uh, movie, it that bad, movie though. wise, though, yeah, her scars and stuff weren't really that atrocious. I mean, I think they still they, they were like, well, we gotta make it effed up, but we also want to make her still pretty. Uh, yeah. So I think maybe what it was because she was so pretty already. Because you remember she was yeah. a beautician, and then they that that was such a big deal to her. But she wasn't like two faced. But that's how they made it. Like, yeah. But I mean, I, I wouldn't picture in real life kids like throwing rocks at her and calling her monster. No, it was just, that was that was that was another editing bad editing job. Yeah. I mean, it was just out of nowhere. She's like got this white dress on, and she's gonna go see Colin Farrell, and all these kids just runs like monster. And throws a rock and goes, oh! And it's like that first twist, though, when you think that they're they're just out together, yeah. and then stuff goes. That was on. badass. Now, I was like, oh damn, that's yeah. pretty cool. But Colin Farrell is a cold ass honky. <laughs> <laughs> he really is. He's a cold ass honky. I'm gonna pop some tag. But he played the part so well. Other than his facial expressions, like we talked about, I mean, yeah. he like. It was just so over the top, his facial expression. Like, she walks in and she has blood on, on her dress, and he's like, oh, I said. Yeah, well, because when he talks and stuff, it's so understated. Like, yeah. he only gets emotional. And he has an emotional story, but he only gets emotional at certain times. Most of the time, his, his, his performance is really understated. But his face, like, like someone will tell him something. I want you to kill him. I think he was trying to tell his life through his eyes, and it just, it just he looked like a creepy yeah. person. I don't it, know. it really is like the bullseye of Daredevil when he misses. He really is. I miss, I never miss. <laughs> I think that the director was standing behind him, and the guy's like, "Okay, this makes no sense. I'm cutting it." He's like, "Don't touch my art." No, but I just don't cut it. It didn't. Even maybe it was an accident. Maybe the editing guy, the editor, messed up, and it was edited wrong. Maybe he had been drinking. Okay, yeah. fun juice. He had fun juice in his system, and he started fucking it up. And then the director came in. And he was like, "It's beautiful." <laughs> Enhance. 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 Just print the damn thing. So the revenge stuff kicks in, yeah. and it's cool. And yeah. I like what they did with it. I like the plan. I like how they did. I like all that. Like I liked the movie. Like I, I, I think say I, I liked it, but I also hated it because it was boring. It was like this is a cool movie, but I'm bored. There was a lot of boring parts, and I really I, I didn't like. I, I like him personally. I think he's a pretty good actor. I know you have issues with him, but Terrence Howard, I don't think he was very threatening in this. 
and and the, and, the, and the dialogue scenes that he had with Colin Farrell, like when it's supposed to be this really serious conversation, and it's supposed to be kind of like badass. It was boring. If there's anything left he cares about, I'm gonna burn it down. Dude, when everything comes to fruition, that action scene, it just like, it goes from zero to a hundred. Like, it's like, it's badass. I yeah, I, it's like I say, it, it takes a long time to get going. And some people aren't going to be able to sit through it. They're going to be like, this fucking stupid. I mean, but yeah. if you bear with it, you, yeah, might, you, yeah. might, you, get, a little, you get a little piece of candy. Yeah. Candy makes you dandy. They needed to just make it an action revenge thriller, and it would have been cooler. But no, the cinematography was really good. Uh, yeah, it, you know, it was shot really well. If, you, if they had stopped, if they had concentrated less on making that artsy shit and stopped trying to make it so clever and just said, let's make this a straight on, people understand. They would have had more room for some badass yeah, stuff to happen. that's what I mean. But the, uh, the uh, music choices sucked. Oh, the music was terrible. They, it was like every, every, like they'd open a door, and you hear a door, and they go, dum, dum, dum. Like it was just the music, like it's just like nothing would happen. It would be like somebody picking up a phone. The phone ring goes. Dum, 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 dum. I, I think it's a, a little bit above average. But I'm gonna give it a six point five. Six point five. I'm right there with you. If you want to fight, yeah. You did. Why are you doing 1920s box? You're like, I'm uh, three rounds with fucking Larry Holmes. Yeah. So I guess that's the question of the day. What's your favorite Colin Fla flavors? Flair. Not flair. Flair. Flair it up. What's your favorite Colin Farrell movie, guys? I never miss. So you're gonna say bye, not deny. Yeah. No, I won't say don't buy it. I say rent it. All right, rent. But rent it and and rent it on Blu-ray because, like I said, the cinematography is really good. But you can't say rent because it doesn't go with what I, I say, buy or deny. You can't say buy, deny, rent. <laughs> yeah, I made up my own option. I don't want you to do it. I flipped that shit. The devil. I'm my own man. <laughs> See you guys. We watched a movie. Yeah. We watched a movie.